Hey guys, welcome to Malta. We are here at the IPF World Championships, competing at my fourth World Championship, hoping to take on my four-peat world title. Uh, yeah, we're excited, we're ready, we're feeling good. Hopefully, uh, ready to take some world records here today, and yeah, let's get on with it. She's gonna be good today for the higher day. number, you know? All right, so we're all weighed in, weighed in at 83.65 kilo, a little bit wider than I thought, than the 24 hour scale was telling me, but that's only going to help us with points. Uh, today, the goal is to hit that best lifter title for my third time. It's never been done. So we're going to make it happen today, hopefully. Um, Goals are gonna be, we're not the total 646 and a half, if, we're cal if my calculations are correct. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna be hitting a world record squat coming up here, hopefully. Um, you know, might match my PR on bench and then we'll deadlift what we need to deadlift. Um, <laughs> 600? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but someday, maybe today, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, the recomp went really good and yeah, I mean, I think we got an hour till till showtime, so we're gonna go warm, warm up. I, I did the math. I sweat out kilo and a half, so I drank a kilo and a half. Let's get the BPM flight going. Try scoop. Here we go. Nah. <laughs> now we're alive.
I don't know how many times I've rebroken my same squat record. Like I'm not trying to sound like any way, but I don't know. I should count, but uh, pretty cool. Um, you know, I didn't know it was on the bar. I just knew it was close to 250, and I, I, I like. It was either gonna be in the, it was gonna be in that range for a day, and um, I was feeling good. My legs were here for squats, and uh, man, I gotta watch that playback. Do you wanna tell me about how Amanda's prep has been? Can you up to this comp? Yeah, so I mean, obviously we just had Sheffield, so we had to quick turnaround. Uh, we had to deal with whatever little injuries that we had, and just kind of get ready for this one um, in a short amount of time. But I think when you have pressure like this, where you like, I mean, you know, Amanda's situation is a little bit different. She's like very, very ahead. Um, and she can kind of just like take easy lifts, maybe some openers and some second attempts and she'll be good to go. But she does have personal goals. She has to make it interesting for herself. She has to try to, um, you know, you got to motivate yourself in other ways. So the way that she does that is she'll use like the formulas, right, to kind of see what other people are doing. And I want, you know, I want Amanda to be happy. I want her to be able to just achieve the goals that she wants to achieve. Um, so we are really on track to uh, take best lifter. And um, she's she peaked very, very well. Like she, like when I saw her squat, I, I like I literally feel like that was probably the best I've ever seen her squat. I just want her to be happy and like to do that, like we gotta hit our numbers and I think she's gonna, I think she's gonna do it. I'm not sure what that was. Bar is loaded. One, two, seven, one, five, five kilos. Lawrence, USA.
<laughs> Your new 84 kilo open world champion with a total of 6 to 6.5 kilos. It's the USA's Amanda Lowe! We got the four-time world champion, hey. it's four now. the Dang. world record breaker, <laughs> the queen of powerlifting, Amanda Lawrence. Congratulations on your huge performance today, Amanda. Hey, thanks. How are you feeling about it? You know, I was feeling really, really strong today, which was kind of surprising because, I mean, we just came off of Sheffield, huge performance there. Um, didn't know how my adductor was going to be feeling because I strained it a month and a half ago. Hit a world record squat. I mean, we almost took this whole meet, right? Um, just missed best lifter barely, it was just in my hand, slipped out, um, still won, but yeah, I think with an off season we'll be able to 650 plus for sure. Yeah, I mean this off season I'll probably try to put on some more size and then cut down, you know, see what more mass we can gain and uh, like I said, bring, bring a dangerous package to Sheffield, so. For you. How long do you plan on just doing this? Like, are you somebody that can just would like to just keep stacking chips, uh, walk away with 10 world championships at the end of the decade? I mean, that'd be pretty cool to say that. I, I just keep thinking down the line, talking to my grandkids, like, <laughs> I did, we did this <laughs> back in the day, but uh, yeah. We don't have any more questions, but just want to say thank you. You're, you've been a huge inspiration. I think that uh, a big reason why the sport is growing the way that it is is because of what you've done. Um, you've inspired the next generation of lifters on both men and women's side. And we just can't thank you enough for everything you do. And just keep doing it and keep being you. Yeah, that, of course. Yeah, thank you. Yep. And congratulations once again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be up standing for the last one.